Hello everybody, I know it's been a very very long time um, but I'm going to try and get back to vlogging again if I can. Um, but I thought I would do one today um, as a bit of a um, post-mortem shall we say for 2016 and how the year panned out for me uh, personally. Now I'm going to start off by saying that I had a fantastic 2016 not the best uh 2015 was my best year i think um, but this year has been an amazing year i've been able to achieve a few things that i initially planned which is i think what we all should do at the beginning of the year and in fact i'm making some plans now that i'll talk about in a minute too for 2017 um but yeah, I had a really great year, except the last couple of months. We had a, a couple of things that did happen in family and everything. But anyway, um, so I'll start off by saying that this time last year, I was trying to um, find a job that I felt that had more life balance. So more, you know, more downtime, more balance, not quite the 24 7 that i was doing in my previous job um i'm not going to say exactly what it, what it was and i'm not actually going to say who i'm working for now but i did manage to find a new job and i started it in the middle of february this year and i am i'm pretty happy there um i have my weekends off which is fantastic um the people there are so awesome and it's I'll say it's a very long established company slash organization, so we're good there. Um, but yeah, I think I'll make a couple of little changes um, job wise this year. Um, I do want to try and do something a little bit more creative in 2017, and I think that that's one problem that I've had with vlogging that I I really do enjoy my job. It is a full-time job, but I do come home exhausted. So by the time I come home, I don't really want to do it. And vlogging is a lot of work and editing and getting it up. I do have a pretty slow internet connection, so trying to do all of that. Um, yeah, so I would like to... My, my aim for 2017 is to try and do a bit more of this if I can get back into the vlogging game again if I can and I might drop actually one day of work a week I'll see how I go maybe drop one day of work a week so I can do something creative I have a couple of other creative things on the ball that I'd like to start or continue doing next year as well so yeah I've got lots of things on the go which I'm really excited about um yeah so yeah I started my new job and I also moved uh, I was in a granny flat not far from where I am now actually I'm not obviously going to say where I live but um, I moved into my own apartment which I'm really happy with I'm, I love the location um, it's just so peaceful which is what I really need after work a stressful day at the office etc so I'm really happy with where I live and um, one of the reasons why I have moved where I am and the whole strategy behind it is that this year this coming year in 2017 I'm also hoping to be in a position to be able to purchase my first home which is a really scary thing to say uh, in public and I have made a few inquiries and inroads with that at the moment um, but yeah we'll we'll see how that pans out in the next year so I, I guess my biggest aim for this coming year is this time next year to be in a position to be able to purchase my own place in Brisbane somewhere where I can afford um, and also really focus on the whole work-life balance to really establish something that I'm passionate about outside of work the usual nine to five mundane thing because we all need that we all need some sort of thing outside of work so yeah that's my 2016 and then goals for 2017 um 
but yeah basically for 2016 a lot happened um for me things that i obviously didn't plan on happening which were absolutely fantastic certainly a couple of things that weren't so good as well towards the end of the year but i would rate this year probably about a ooh, eight nine out of ten which is pretty good i think so like i said i got a new job i moved house um i picked up vlogging shall i say i actually started my channel about two years ago and i think i put my first intro video way back when i was in china and then i was just too chicken to continue it until about june uh this year so yeah like i said i want to continue doing that as well um so that happened and then um something happened in july i can't remember what happened in july but anyway there were a few things you know spotted around the place that happened i um at, at the church that i went to that i go to the church i attend uh we had a women's conference in august which was really awesome um we had uh darlene check as the main guest there and she was really inspirational i mean we all know you know darlene uh, it was from Hillsong and everything, but after the chapter, after her chapter at Hillsong, you know, that she's got this whole new chapter of establishing a new church on the central coast of um, New South Wales, and then the breast cancer and everything that she went through there. So it was just this whole amazing new chapter of her life that she's gone through, and she's just like really amazing now, like how she's gotten through everything. So we did that in August and then September I managed to grab some tickets to Pentatonics, which you probably saw the video for for that, um, which was really cool because they went so fast. They, they only did one show in Brisbane and I think it was their first time in Brisbane actually and yeah, the tickets were sold within two hours and I was at work at the time and they went and I just thought I'm probably not going to get one but yeah, lucky me I did. So that was Pentatonics, and then the middle of September, I had the dinner with Mitch Pileggi uh, from the X-Files, which was, I mean, okay, yeah, for me, that was like super amazing, epic excitement. Um, you know, I am a really big X-Files fan, so it was just like deer in the headlights kind of thing, so that was really, really cool. Um, so yeah, I had the dinner there, and then... Uh, I had my school reunion. I'm not going to say how many years it's been. I'm not going to say how old I am. Um, but uh, yeah, I had my school reunion up on the Sunshine Coast in November. So that was really cool. Uh, the school's changed a lot. And um, it was really, really nice just to catch up with everyone again and friends and see what they're up to and, and how their lives have changed as well. And it was really, really nice. You know, like it, some of them are just so inspiring where they are now and, and it, it's just so nice to see where they're all at all at um so yeah so i had that in november and then um yeah after that it kind of went downhill a little bit we had a couple of serious things that happened in the family um yeah a couple of like really serious things that um yeah, I mean, I'm obviously not going to put it out there in public or anything, but yeah, we're going through some pretty tough things at the moment, and um, but yeah, we'll get through them, and um, yeah, we'll make it, and, and I'm sure that uh, 2017 will be a good year for those people as well in the family, and you know, we'll get through what we're going through, so uh, yeah, so today um, I'm actually on holiday, it's my last day um five days that i've got off from work um and i'll go back to work tomorrow so today i spent the day just organizing myself my diary which i know it's really bad luck um to be looking at your calendars and diaries and everything until the first of january but too bad i'm an organizational freak i love it i've got my diary all organized and prepared for next year which i love um i've got some inspiring quotes in it and everything and all that too and i also got a cheap calendar that obviously one of those flip calendars and i have torn it all apart and i've just made one big calendar it's like six months january to june and then july to december on both sides either side of my on the inside of my wardrobe doors 
and I've just labeled it with um, inspiring quotes to keep me motivated every day because obviously going to the wardrobe gets dressed every day and um, I am in the middle of, of saving obviously for my first home so I have made a plan with that on my calendar so it's not in the public eye but it's still something that I can see every day because I really like to see that visually where am I at where should I be at and um, so yeah I'm really excited about that and and just how close I've, I've almost come to that dream in the last couple of weeks which didn't quite work out but hey I know where I'm at I'm on the right track I'm super excited and yeah so it's it's been a really good year I think in the um globally though it's been such a weird year like to today or was it yesterday today I woke up this morning to <laughs> the news that Carrie Fisher had died and I'm just like are you kidding me I actually wasn't too surprised about that given the serious like heart attack that she had on um, Christmas Eve I think it was so I wasn't too surprised but three deaths in the last three days like come on this is ridiculous and this year has been a shocker for, for, for deaths Although, admittedly, no death really affected me as much as Alan Rickman. Uh, Alan, like, why? Why? Uh, Alan Rickman should still be here. Oh, honestly, Severus Snape needs to still be here. Um, and it was just so much sadness that I watched Love Actually at Christmas. And he just looks so young. Even though that movie's 10 years old, I can't believe he's not on this world anymore. It's, it's, it's just terrible um so yeah and i mean who would have thought i mean come on you know another death today after everything it's just so many deaths that we had this year and um i don't know i think there was like this joke on the internet today too like this four days left of the year there's today's december 28 four days left of the year like that's going to be it, yeah? Like, 2016 is not done yet. If I were a major celebrity, I would not be relaxing until January 1st. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's ridiculous. But, yeah, I guess that's what happens in the world. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave this video here. Um... But yeah, I just wanted to put my thoughts out there about this year and how it's treated me and, and, and what plans are for the year. And I'm really going to try and do this vlogging thing. I, I really am. I still have videos and ideas that I want to do. But like I mentioned, I, I, I do work full time and I'm, I'm just really tired trying to do this as well as that and, you know, everything else in life to do as well. But I will do the best I can next year. So, yeah, I hope you had a really good Christmas. And, um, yeah, I hope you have a safe and, and happy new year. And I hope 2017 is going to be an awesome year for you, as it is for me as well. So, yeah, until next time, I'll see you later.